This is a video of 11 tips for starting a new world in Minecraft. 11 tips. Tip number one, punch down a tree. And with the tree guts, you make a crafting table and make yourself a pickaxe. Like so. Boop. And step number two, I would take out some cobblestone so that you can upgrade your pickaxe immediately and start using some useful tools. Oh, look at that. Cool. Making some useful tools like that. Boop, boop. And for tip number three, use this hole that you've been digging out and turn it into your starter hole. Make sure it's three blocks tall because you get claustrophobic in a too high space. With tip number one, make sure you pick up these saplings and plant them again so that you will always have some wood. And they drop sticks too now. So that's really good to keep too. All right, and make some doors for your starter base. Boom, boom. There we go. Safe-ish. Make sure to light up your house. Otherwise, things can spawn in there while you're gone. Now, with these new tools that you got, you were going to want to make sure that you have some food to eat because as you can see, I'm already getting hungry. So I got a new sword. I don't want to kill a horse because I'm not a horrible person. But one thing I would recommend is killing some sheep of the same wool. So I see some white sheep. But you can kill any animals you want in the area just so that we can have some food. Where'd you go? Okay, I got a random assortment of things, raw pork chops, some mutton, some beef, and then most importantly, I got three white wool. I guess it's not the most important, but like it is kind of like important for another step. But I would make sure not to kill every animal in the area because you're going to want them for later. There we go. Wow, this one is really tough. Wow. Step number five. With the wool that you got, combine it with some planks and you can make yourself a bed. Bed is super useful because as you can see it's nighttime. Monsters are going to start coming and you do not want to be around when that happens. So if you make a bed, first of all you can set yourself with the spawn point so that you'll be fine. when you If you die, you can just come back to your house. And also now it's daytime again so I don't have to worry about these guys. Now this food will last us for a little while, but while you have it, I would break all the grass you can to collect a good handful of seeds and make yourself a hoe like this and one of the most- OH MY GOSH! Make sure to shut the door be behind you. Always close the door behind you. Oh. Number six is to make a wheat farm as soon as you can because wheat is going to be super useful. What's up, spider? Number seven, I would, if not in your home, then someplace really close that you can get to, create a mine shaft. Start digging down. I would recommend digging down to diamond level. And diamond level starts at level 16 and below. And to see what level you are, hit F3, and over here on the left, you'll see your coordinates. And if you see the middle one, that's that's your, your vertical coordinate. So if that is 16 or lower, you're in the range of diamonds. Oh, dark. Now, the hope is on your way down, or in some nearby caves, you'll find things like coal and iron, and those are super useful early game. And if I were you, if you have a sword, go ahead and explore the nearby caves, but only until you get your first iron. Once you get your first iron, head back. So again, with this step, the first thing is to find, oh, whoa, look, a sp oh, I'm gonna die. That's really cool. There's one right here? Okay, well, I'll definitely have to save that for later. There's a, there's a dungeon. Oh, wow. Am I okay? There's a dungeon right next to my base. That's really cool. That's like one of the things you want most to have nearby. It's good for just when you're later on in the game. I won't go over that in this video. <laughs> I'm fine, I promise. I just want this coal. 
Ooh. Ooh. I got the first iron. Hey, oh, hi. What's up? How you doing? Go away. And if you want to keep your sanity, I'd recommend, like, breaking three blocks high when making a staircase down. That way, when you run down, you're not just... And giving yourself brain damage. But you must be thinking, why only one iron? What's so special about that one iron bar? Let me tell you, one of the most useful things that you can have when starting a new world is to get what we like to call a shield. First thing ever. Because with this, even though I don't really have any anything on me, no armor, no nothing, I can actually take on these skeletons. But this thing is going to save your life. Look at this, even a creeper explosion. I'm fine. So yes, I would recommend to definitely get a shield as soon as you can. I just, um, okay, goodbye. Number nine is when you get your first wheat, you can start creating an actually efficient food farm. And this is the reason why you shouldn't kill off all the animals in the surrounding area. I would create a place nearby, just like a little pen, that you can keep your animals for breeding and for harvesting and all these things like that. So I dug just this very simple hole here. I'm gonna make myself a ladder if I have some sticks. Just so that I can get in and out easily. Because it's awkward when you get stuck down there with your, with your creatures. But let's find a few things to bring into our pen. What I'd recommend is cows because their leather is actually super useful. So you and you, come here, come on guys. I made a fancy hole for, hey cow, just nudge him inside, fall down, there you go. Come here cow, get in there, thank you. I guess you can go in there too. Keep them some company. And the skeletons that you kill or that die in the sun, you can take their bone mill to increase the rate of trees growing and wheat growing. But make sure that you always plant another seed when you harvest these things. But you'll want to feed both of your animals and start breeding them. And then you will have a source of pretty much unlimited food right there. You have it right next to your furnace, it's really good. There are some other designs you can do with this, like put them all in a one block space, and you can put a hopper underneath them, do the little suffocating trick. There's, there's little things that you can do. Um, but that one's a little inhumane, even though I'm guilty of it. I've learned my ways, I've learned my ways. I've taken that down. And tip number 10, while you are mining through your mine shaft, with the coal that you get, make sure you save some for torches because you're going to want to light up the area around your base. That way, no mobs will spawn around your base so that only things like zombies from a distance will see you. And in order to make a place mob proof, you have to check this number here. And if this block number, this light level block number, is below seven, like right here, then something can spawn right here. And so you place a torch around that area and it will give it enough light that you don't need to worry. And tip number 11 is to blow up everything that you had and then come over to our Astoria craft and let us protect you. And then we will give you things that you need. I should have talked about that. And we will have fun playing together and it'll be great. Tip number 11 and a half, campfires are great furnaces that don't require any fuel. So I, I would recommend a campfire. Plus it gives off a good smoke signal so you can find your base in a valley. Ow. I should, I should watch my health. Oh, I'm fine, cool. Don't you love the back of my head? <laughs>